Hello and welcome to Flagstaff TV. Today we are joined by Werner Klingenberg, who is the CEO of Goldplatt. Werner, thank you very much for joining us today. Good morning, Catherine. Can you start by talking us through your latest results, which have just been released? Yes, thank you, Catherine. Um, um, if we look at quarter one for 2024, just released, we've um, uh, done extremely well, achieving an operating profit for the two operating entities combined of close to 1.9 million pounds. That is in comparison with the prior year, full year operating profit of around 6 million pounds. Um, uh, that was supported by um, uh, good deliveries in Ghana, as well as the selling of stock that's built up in the previous quarter in Ghana. Um, uh, the numbers, however, has been impacted in South Africa with the electricity supply issues that we'll talk about a little bit later, but um, uh, all in all, extremely encouraging results. Now, how have these uh, electricity cuts and infrastructure issues affected you? Uh, Catherine, I mean, these obviously only applied to the South African operations where we're currently going through regulated security supply or electric electricity supply cuts. Um, uh, we've lost basically 23% of our production time in quarter one, um, uh, although we've been able to limit our loss in uh, processing by only 18%, um, uh, which is adds off to the team on the ground. Um, uh, but in general, it's, it's only impacting the processing of our lower grade resources, which makes up anything between um, uh, 40 to 70 percent of, of our production in South Africa. Um, um, but we have made a decision during the period to invest into uh, diesel generators. The plan was to get them operational by the end of October. We've indicated that that is now being pushed forward to, to January. Uh, due to some shipping delays, and, uh, but by the time we've got that in place, obviously it will be quite helpful in terms of just limiting the impact uh, that we will foresee continuing um, uh, in the near future. Thank you, Werner. Can you give us a general overview about how gold plant recovery is progressing? Yes, I think if we if we look at the quarter one, uh, apart from the good numbers, there's, there's a lot of um, uh, events that did happen. Um, uh, that's extremely encouraging for me. The first one is the completion of our new trading facility in South Africa, which gives us additional capacity for the next seven years. Um, uh, with the completion of that, we've also got the ability to now look at reprocessing or processing our old TSF facility. Um, uh, and there we are seeing good progress in terms of the design for, um, uh, for some water crossings that will be required for a water use license uh, to install a pipeline to a nearby facility of DOD Gold. Um, uh, and we're also seeing um, uh, some engagement from DOD in terms of finding ways, methods and processes, and obviously also the commercial terms on how we see that potentially being processed in the future. Um, uh, which for me is quite encouraging. Um, uh, I'm not sure if, if the listeners is necessarily aware, but we do have a dual compliant resource over that facility established in 2016 of circa 82,000 ounces. And we're looking to extract some value of that in the future. Um, uh, if we look at, at Ghana, um, uh, we've seen good progress in South America as well as into West Africa in terms of relationships. We've got our first batch of material coming out of Ivory Coast, which is extremely encouraging um, uh, and opens up sort of that whole country in terms of material that we can secure from the other uh, mines and primary producers. We did also see improvement in terms of the turnaround of our working capital on the debtors front. Uh, we had a lot of delays in the previous year on material delivered to a smelter in Europe. We've since moved material to different smelters and we're seeing, seeing a, a big increase there, although some lockup has still been experienced due to this um, uh, and is, is having an impact um, uh, on our cash flow. Werner, finally for today, do you have any other updates that you would like to share with us? Uh, well, Catherine, I mean, I think one thing to note that I didn't indicate was the fact that we're currently sitting on a cash balance of about 1.4 million pounds. Um, uh, a figure that's usually closer to 3 million pounds. And the result of that is still some lockup in working capital. 
due to delays experienced in sales in the previous quarter in Ghana due to the gold license. Um, uh, obviously, I think the market is expecting the release of the financial um, uh, results or annual report for 2023, um, uh, which probably is the next um, uh, information that we'll share to the market. Um, uh, but in general, I think we've seen a lot of good progress on a lot of fronts in, um, uh, in the group over the last quarter, and we're quite excited for, for the year that's ahead. Thank you, Werner. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you for watching Flagstaff TV.